Getting your car e-checked isn't exactly fun, but now Ohio is making e-check easier, allowing vehicle testing anytime. On your side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman has more. Jen, there's a self-service option? There is. That's why we decided to put it to the test. You simply drive up, push a few buttons, start your car, and the computers do the rest. Right now, there's one self-service e-check option, but soon there could be up to 15. Do-it-yourself grocery store checkouts, movie rentals, and now emissions testing. All right, so here we go to the self-service e-check. The kiosk is about the size of an ATM, and it's located on the side of the Twinsburg e-check facility. Did you guys know that there's a self e-check? Uh, no. we, we didn't know that. I did not know that. Would you do it yourself? I uh, might be willing to try. It's open 24 hours a day, so you can test your car on your time frame and avoid those long lines. With my schedule, I did have to take some extra time out today, so that might be an extra bonus for people that work during the week and odd hours. So how's it done? Well, it's pretty simple. Pictures and a touch screen guide you through the process and tell you the tools you need for testing. You start by scanning your vehicle identification number, or VIN. This is the barcode. We're going to just scan it. That allows the computer to identify your car. Be patient. We had some trouble getting it to scan, but eventually it worked. There it goes. Now it's time to enter your mileage. Then the computer displays all your information. Right here it's showing us that we have a 2006 Dodge Caravan, so it knows our car and knows what county it's registered in. Now it's time for testing. That's as simple as turning on the parking brake and engine and plugging in the tester. So we're going to look for this thing right here. The testing device plug-in or data port is typically found to the left of your steering wheel down near the floor. That's it right there. It's our data port. Then you wait. The computer and car run their test, and that's it. So I guess we're all done. Just unplug this. You put all the tools back and wait for the results. Congratulations. We passed. Now time for the report. Simple as that. It's simple, but getting the message to drivers is challenging. We had no idea. Only 500 people have any idea this kiosk exists. That's how many people used it in January when the kiosk was first installed. Now, I asked the state how they're preventing fraud with this self service option, and they said they have a way to do it. They didn't want to go into specifics, but basically, a fingerprint is created when you run your car through these tests. They check for three different identifiers. That way, they know if you're scamming the system. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.